Hi guys, Doug Rappaport here with Incognito Guitars. Welcome back to my studio. We got another guitar lined up for you here from ESP Japan. This guitar is called the ESP Snapper. The ESP Snapper features a swamp ash body, an open grain finish or driftwood style they call it. The color is called indigo. Looks fantastic, especially against like black stage clothes. You'll really stand out. Really beautiful. Love it. It's got a nice feel to it, too. Strat body. What else can I tell you? Maple neck. It's got a maple fingerboard, which is cool. Sometimes you get a maple neck and it's all just one piece. Sometimes they'll make a neck where they'll throw a maple fingerboard right on top of that maple neck. I always heard somewhere that Eddie Van Halen said he preferred that. So if Ed says so, so be it. You dig? Okay, I know you're with me on that one. Got some nice big frets, 22 frets. Here's something I really love with the new guitars these days. And that's that little wheel down there that lets you make on the fly easy neck adjustments. No more having to unscrew the neck and any of that stuff or truss rod covers. You just got it right there. Fantastic. Whoever came up with that, who did that? Good on you. Fantastic. The guitar features Seymour Duncan pickups. HSS configuration, vintage hot stacks for the single coils, and then this one is a 1959 or 59 custom hybrid. This is a tremolo system from ESP. It's called a Flicker 3. We have a five-way pickup selector, a volume, a tone, and a mini toggle switch. The tone knob is a push, and it pops out like that. It's a push pop out. I came up with that on my own. The idea when you pop out the tone knob is it gives you different capacitance options. Try saying that fast five times, even once. Very difficult. Anyway, I'll give you some examples of how it sounds in a little bit here. But anyway, that's what that does. As you can see, as I have this guitar flipped upside down, we've got locking tuners from Goto. And this makes string changes very fast and actually provides great stability tuning wise. Okay, without further ado, let's check out how this thing sounds. We'll start on the neck pickup of the volume kind of low. Here we go. Bring up the volume. a little more. Let's check out that middle pickup now. We'll start with the volume halfway down. I really like the way this pickup sounds. It's got a real Texas blues kind of tone. But we'll start with a lower volume. Turn it up. Let's go to the bridge pickup now.
Cool. All right, let's check out some of these in-between positions. We'll start with the neck and the middle pickup together. Let's hear how that sounds, volume halfway up. <laughs> Turn the volume up. Nice. We'll do the bridge pickup and the middle pickup together. See how that sounds. A little more volume. All the way up. All right, let's mess with this push-pull capacitance tone knob down here. All right, so if I'm playing the bridge pickup and I turn this down while it's pushed in, it just cuts those highs like a normal tone knob. Now I'm going to pop it out and we'll hear the difference. So it just changes the capacitance. You sort of get that Boston thing going, don't you? And you know, it varies as you turn it. Back in, you'll hear it's just a cut. Pop it out, it's capacitance. Kind of subtle. A lot of options. Yeah. Guitar gets excited. All right. I think it's time to make some tracks and jam a little bit. What do you think? Here we go.